If you have varicose eczema, this video will tell you what you need to know and what you need to do to get rid of it. Varicose eczema is very important. You see, it's a warning sign that you have a serious problem with the vein circulation and if neglected it can progress on to become a leg ulcer, causing pain, odour and disability. Leg ulcers can be a recurring problem and may involve prolonged treatment to get them healed, so taking action before they develop, that is, as soon as varicose eczema starts, is well worth it. So why do you have varicose eczema? Well, first of all, let me put a few things straight for you. This condition is not really an eczema, a skin problem, nor is it actually caused by varicose veins. The term varicose eczema arose before doctors fully understood the true nature of the problem. So, in reality, varicose eczema can develop in the absence of surface varicose veins and unlike true skin problems, it should not be managed solely by dermatologists. The true nature of varicose eczema is actually a malfunction of the veins of the legs, causing inflammation and scarring of the skin. So, problems with the deep veins, such as a blockage from a deep vein thrombosis, or backflow in the superficial veins, called superficial vein reflux, can cause varicose eczema. Varicose eczema only develops on the legs, of course, and it is always associated with leg vein malfunction. So if you have eczema on a different part of your body, it is not varicose eczema, and you should see a dermatologist. Now to the part you really want to know. How can you get rid of varicose eczema? Well, as I've said, varicose eczema is important, so get it sorted out quickly. Don't delay seeking help, because the longer you have varicose eczema, the more likely you are to get an ulcer. Request an assessment by a vein specialist, and request a duplex ultrasound scan to look at the leg veins in detail. A scan will detect the exact vein abnormality and the results will help determine the exact form of treatment appropriate for you. Antibiotics, creams and ointments are almost never needed. In fact, they can make things worse. In particular, avoid steroid creams. These can thin the skin and although steroid creams provide very welcome relief, they mask the symptoms of skin irritation, thin the skin and actually make a leg ulcer more likely in the long run. So, here are my top tips. Get help as soon as you have varicose eczema, request assessment by a vein specialist, including a vein duplex scan, and get the underlying vein problem diagnosed and dealt with as soon as possible. If you would like more information and help with your varicose eczema, Go to our website or email us to request a free information sheet with everything you need to know about varicose eczema.